Joining us now is Stephen Miller, former senior advisor to President Trump, founder of America First Legal. Stephen, without taking accountability here, having any accountability for their own actions, they're going to continue to inflict pain on the American people by not enforcing our border, period. And they're blaming now the end of COVID policies? Well, it's an entirely voluntary and deliberate choice on their part, which is what makes it all the more outrageous. President Trump put into place a series of policies to ensure swift border returns and deportations. At the centerpiece of that in 2020 was this authority, Title 42. The administration is voluntarily planning to rip out this policy and to let even more millions of illegal immigrants into the country. And they cannot blame Russia or Vladimir Putin or anybody else for this. They are willfully destroying our border because they want to. Well, the White House sent Fox a statement about the border tonight. The administration is doing our due diligence to prepare for potential changes at the border. That is good government in action. This administration is working every day to restore order, fairness, and humanity to our immigration system. Stephen, good government apparently means government. open borders. Well, they are... <laughs> They are in the process right now, just to be clear, of figuring out how they can get all of the illegal aliens who will be arriving into a city near you as quickly as possible. That is the only planning that is taking place in the White House and at DHS, as they're going to find volunteers and non-governmental organizations mm. and federal workers to take the illegal immigrants and put them to Pennsylvania and bring them to Ohio and bring them to Wisconsin and bring them to Indiana and every other state in the country. That is the only planning they are doing. But they speak to the American people like we are fools, like we are idiots, like we can't see what's happening in front of our own eyes. It's propaganda, but it's cheap, pathetic propaganda at that. So Putin's solely to blame, really, for rising gas prices, and the end of COVID is to yes. blame for the border. I, yes. it, it's just... Spring. It's, the, it's spring's fault. It's the weather's fault. Really, it's, it's the position of the planet in relation to the sun. That's ultimately who's to blame here. But when the Ukraine story is obviously critically important as it is, and it is important, do you notice how the border reporting is just kind of faded into the background, Stephen? It's only our country, no big deal. Well, it's not, it's not by accident. I mean, the administration is doing a truly horrendous job in Europe. They knew for months in advance about the invasion. Their strategy was a catastrophic failure, but yet, but yet, it cannot be denied that they are talking endlessly about Ukraine and only Ukraine because, if nothing else, it provides a chance to take focus off of our own southern border, which, let's not forget, there is a narco war happening on the other side of that border. There are hundreds of thousands of Americans being killed by drugs. Many more on top of that are also being killed by gang members coming across that border. It's our country. We should care about it. We should talk about it. Well, maybe Mitt Romney might mention that once in a while. Stephen, thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.